Hey guys, it's Carl Brown with GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to look at how to play the intro to Diary of a Madman by Ozzy Osbourne, played by Randy Rhodes. Now, first off, I'm tuned down a half step like they are on the recording. And um, this piece is, this intro at least, is, is really inspired by a Leo, Leo Brower etude. Um, you can tell, you know, Randy Rhodes is a big classical guitar fan, so he probably played that etude a little bit. And um, this is really... You can tell highly inspired by it. Anyway, let's take a look at it. It's really cool sounding. We're going to first just show you what's going on in the left hand real quick for this first chord. Pinky at the 7th fret on the D string. Then you can play the 6th fret on the G and the 4th fret on the B. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to have the A string open and the high E string open. So those five strings together. Alright, so basically we're just going to start picking from the 5th string, you're going to go 4 down strokes across, and then when you get to the high E string, you're going to start with 4 up strokes. So we do that again. Alright, now as you finish the picking pattern one time through, you're pretty much going to just pick up your pinky here and put down your second finger at the 5th fret on that D string. So that's the only thing that changes for the next chord. Then you play the same picking pattern. Alright, next chord we're going to have the 4th fret on the D string, 5th uh, fret on the G, 4th fret on the B, and then 5th fret on the high E string. Same picking pattern as before. All right, now leave your pinky there. We're gonna do a bar at the third fret now across four strings and place your second finger at the fourth fret on the G string. Keeping your pinky there at the fifth fret. So it's the same pinky pattern four times in a row there. All right, now we're gonna make it down to the second fret here on the D string your pinky is going to play the 4th fret on the G, and then your 2nd finger is going to play the 2nd fret on the B string. Alright, same picking pattern, same, you got the A and the high E string still open. Alright, that minor add 9 is now become a, um, that's a major add 9, going to become a minor. So basically we need the 2nd fret on the B string to go down to the 1st fret. So to make that happen, I'm going to replace this finger with this one or on the D string, and then use your first finger to play the first fret there. Alright, so the chords so far are just... Alright, now I'm going to change the picking pattern up a little bit. You're going to hold the same um, chord that you already have, but you're going to add a G in the bass. And the picking pattern is going to be that sixth string, then the third, then the second, and then back to the third. So that was a down, down, up, down. And then you're going to end it with the same four up strokes you did before, just on the top four strings. All right, the next chord, your first finger here on the first fret on the low E string, your second finger here at the second fret on the G, and the pinky at the third fret on the B string. So we're gonna do the same picking pattern we just did on the last chord. All righty. And then we're gonna end with this E major add nine. Now that's going to be your 2nd fret here on the A string, 4th uh, fret on the D, and then 1st fret on the G string. Now every single other string is going to be played open. And we're going to do a picking pattern, basically a 3 note pattern going across strings. So we're going to pick the 6th, 5th, and 4th string going down, down, up. And then do the same thing starting from the 5th string. And then the 4th. Third. 
finish it off by hitting the open B string, and then you're just basically gonna play, you can play this with whatever fingers you want. It's just third fret on the B string, fourth fret on the G. All right, now we have that other riff, which is kind of reminiscent of the main riff of the song. All right, so that's just gonna be an open A, fifth fret on the G string, then the second fret on the, the D string. Then the fourth fret on the G, to that same second fret on the D. Then the open A, back to that E. So we so far we have this. Alright, now we get to a pattern we can actually follow, which is just, you're always going to come back to this second fret on the D, but you're going to play, so you have to do a bar there, second fret on the G, down to that E, then the fourth fret on the G, down to the E, I'm just doing up, down, up, down, fifth fret on the G, fourth fret, and second fret. So we have... Alright, then we're going to come do this open A, back to the 2nd fret on the D, then do that pattern again starting at the 5th fret, 4th, 2nd, back to 4, 5, and you end it on the 4 there. low E string and then start that pattern over again with the open A and then and find that pattern when that pattern starts it gets easier to memorize all right so it's pretty interesting a uh, couple of riffs there some uh, interesting chords in the first one uh, a lot of dissonance but really nice sounding stuff at the same time and uh, a lot of ninth chords, and then of course this uh, this riff, which leads into the main riff of the song, is uh, got a cool vibe about it too. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back with another one soon for GuitarLessons365.com. Bye bye.